What are you doing, Pipper? You scared? Pip doesn't like noises, wind, or rain. Those things usually don't happen here, so he thinks that this is basically Armageddon. I'm sorry, Pip. I can't tell you what you want to hear. You might be right. I'm Tony from the Outsider Channel. Thanks for tuning in again this week. I'm doing a special intro because I threw the last one away. And I'll tell you why. The reason I'm doing this intro over again is because I just had, which basically I'm going to say, one of the worst crashes on the ride you're about to see I've ever had on the bike. I broke my helmet. I'll show you that in a minute. Wow. This is, a, this is something you don't see around here every day, you guys. We've got a downpour in Orange County. By the time you guys see this, you should be already taking advantage of that hero dirt that's about to come. Um, so I'm just happy to have rain, you know? Got a free car wash. Today we are doing the Lose Trail in Orange County. It's one of the best trails you probably haven't ridden. And I already told you that I crashed on it. And the disclaimer is this. Because I took a pretty bad crash on this trail, don't let that freak you out. And don't be afraid to ride this trail. You'll see in the video, I'm riding with my buddy Brian. And basically what happened was, I was more concentrated on my speed. I was taking the trail for granted things happen so that's on me the trail is completely rideable if you're right if you're able to ride black trails this one's one of the best in California um, it's raw it's rough it's got some exposure it's turny it's flowy it's got some jumps in the middle of it it's got everything and um, it's got views the entire way to get to this trail so I can't speak highly enough for this ride here let me show you guys the little remnants from what happened here so the visor popped down underneath and rocks and dirt were just getting pummeled in there. Uh, aside from me getting bruised up and cut up in some jammed fingers uh, and ruining a pair of my new Fox attack gloves, I'm pretty friggin' lucky. The thing that sucks about crashes is that not only did I get bruised, battered up a little bit, I'm about to buy a new helmet, but my freaking confidence comes down a little bit. You know how that goes. So I'm gonna do a couple build up rides this week. Let's get to the video, let's get to the riding. Let's do it. Hope you like it. at the loose parking lot with my buddy Brian from Empty Beers and uh, in the weekends you can park in the back here there's gonna be a specific mountain bike parking lot because if you come here in the weekends you'll see there's about a thousand motorcycles this place is packed but it's also an awesome place to get lunch and a beer after your ride Brian you know the name of this road uh, it's Live Oak Canyon. all right so we're gonna head down Live Oak Canyon and take a ride on San Diego Canyon Road how many times did you say you've done the luge? Yeah. Probably about 150. <laughs> Holy cow. And that's like just on Strava. Because Strava's only been around for... So there's definitely some runs before that. Yeah. When I moved out here, I had like a, a Yeti with some 26s on it. And Brian basically has been mentoring me <laughs> in a way in the, for, a for a little bit there. And uh, kind of showed me the ropes. and. It was basically my trail guide at the local trails here, man. And like, kind of owe a little bit of my passion for biking to you, dude. Dude, well, I'm just stoked to have someone to ride with. There you go. About a mile and a half, two miles up San Diego Canyon. We're gonna take a right on Majeska Grade. This one's kind of a beast, I'd say. <laughs> Would you agree, Brian? Yeah. And then 
head right onto the, the fire road, which is San Diego Truck Trail. Wait, what's going on? Brian, no secret stuff. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't know. See, it pays to have a local you're going with. I'm on autopilot. Ah. Just kidding about the gate. Views are getting better at least. Hell yeah. I call these appreciation stations. <laughs> so we're gonna stay on San Diego Truck Trail. Brian, what would you say? Three miles-ish? Almost three. Almost three miles. It's mainly uphill, but there are some fun descents along the way and little side single tracks you could take if you want that all lead to the same place. But get ready for a climb. One of the great things about this trail is that you're on a ridge line, so you've got views the entire way. Looking over Trabuco Canyon. Trail flattens out a little bit. It goes from double to single track, weaves in and out. Which is awesome because it breaks up the climb, so you're not just going straight up the whole time. I guess Brian's on one right now. <laughs> See if we can catch up. Watch out for hikers. Brian's clearing the way for me. But it's also a weekday, so it shouldn't be so crazy. Weekends, definitely more people, obviously. Short downhill to a big climb. And there's the big climb. More twists, more turns, more climbs. Oh, we've got appreciation station. So you've stopped a few more than me. <laughs> but it doesn't get old. Last climb? All right. I'm gonna say right now though, if I can keep up with Brian from this point down to the car, that's a win. If we could just see Brian at any point. <laughs> From the rest of oh, the road. How you doing? Hey. Enjoy. Anyway, like I was saying, if we can see Brian, then it's a win in my book today. I don't know, dude. I've seen <laughs> you descend. You you were on my butt when we were at uh, Greer. That's where we need to go back to. Yeah. I have a little list of places I want to go to. I mean, it's it's winter, so now's the time, right? Yeah. They kind of put. I've been putting off like certain rides for the winter, actually, and that's one of them. It's like 105 there in the summertime yeah. with no shade. Yeah. So this is DH Toulouse on Strava. Okay. And then the fun part with the exposure, I think, is I think I named it uh, oh, Hammer Time Prelude. You named it? Yeah. Hey. Nobody else had it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Anyways, have fun. Be safe. You too. Forgot the shock again. And he might be already gone. exposure right there
the luge. So, what do we got? We got a Spider-Man. We got some old gloves. We got some bullet boxes where people can put their, wait, you sign your name and date. It's kind of a famous photo spot too. Like, I feel like I've seen a thousand photos of yeah. this spot. A little appreciation station before we head out. Any last words of advice before we hit this trail? Just be smooth as possible and brake before the turns and hang on to as much momentum as possible. All right. Have fun, be safe. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I a lot. Good. He's killing it even when he's taking it easy. Whew. Little exposure on the right. gonna be some drops just go with it Ah, man down. All right. Holy shit. first. For me, one of those falls you just check everything, make sure everything's working on your body. I check my fingers. First thing I want to do is get my bike off the trail. All right, Let's see if we could finish this out. God damn. I feel like I got lucky on that. For some reason, my bike seems to be all right. Let's see if we can finish out this trail guide. Slow-mo style. My finger might be broken, I don't know. I'm gonna try to make it to the bottom. See if I can get the adrenaline going. It looked like didn't really a slam I've ever taken. Really? I'm all right. I think my fingers might be pretty messed up, but. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I'm okay though. I like came down around a corner. I sent it off the drop and didn't plan enough for the turn and just got over it. Oh, overcooked it? <laughs> overcooked it, going too fast in the corner. I was too over my bike. And then, uh, You're right. yeah. But like, dude, the slam was sketchy because I kind of went shoulder head first oh. and my helmet was like digging into the ground. Oh. So I might take you up on that helmet discount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate that. It's like a, such a confidence killer, you know? Yeah, it is. But like when you're not, you know, when you're thinking about camera. Yeah. It just like in a trail like this, you can't not pay attention for a second. Like yeah. even though you're like. I noticed thinking about you, I was off. Just roll it. Just roll it. Yeah, I'll be good. Cool. I'm just not going to be yeah. jamming it.
Oh, my chain. God damn, it's always something. <laughs> All right. So round three. What the hell? I see if I can remember. I think there's a couple of jumps right here. Still got some confidence left after that. Burmy goodness. My chain was off. Ha, ah, one of those days. Yeah, I think I might say yes to that beer now. I only have six though. <laughs> Wait, so you only have six? Today might be a 12 day. <laughs> and you got one more downhill section left in you. All right, man, I got beat up. <laughs> it's always good to get a little ass kicking every once in a while, I guess. Make you not take your riding for granted. So we're gonna take this dirt road that turns into a paved road back to Live Oak Canyon Road. You got a much Earned descent back to the parking lot on Live Oak Canyon Road. Woo! I'm gonna sign off, you guys. Lick my wounds. Maybe grab a beer with my buddy Brian. Thanks for letting me bring your mop to life today. Things did get a little messy in my hand. Hopefully, it gave you some knowledge to come back and try this on your own. Don't be discouraged by my slam. That's on me. Like if you like the video. Subscribe. Stick around. New videos every week. Thanks for watching, you guys. Till next week. Yeah, buddy.